Hello and welcome back and today we're going to continue our look at cameras for home surveillance both NAS and outside of NAS. Today we're talking about another camera that is not supported officially by network attached storage devices because a number of you have wondered why I don't focus on non-NAS cameras. So today I want to continue my look at the Anke or Anake depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, HD Smart Wireless PT camera. We've already done a kind of hardware overview of this camera, of what it can do and what it can't do. And today we're going to take a good look at the software. Now, the first thing you need to download is the My Anker application for iOS and Android, which I've already done. And you have to register an account and then connect the camera to your um, local area network wirelessly or over LAN. Now, I was hoping to do a video overview of this, but it has to be said that this was where the first tiny stumbling blocks of overview on this camera came to light. It is not the most intuitive setup. I might do a separate video after this on how to connect a camera for the first time to help you guys in future, but for all the cameras that I've ever set up, this was not the most user friendly. And I, a couple of times, found it quite difficult to connect my um, the wireless camera that I had here to my Wi-Fi and access it via my phone using an audio notification system that seemed a little bit out of date. But as for beyond that point, we can have a look at the camera itself. Now here, if we go to Notification Center, we can see lots of information here in the background um, about the storage of stuff. But we are talking about quite a cost-effective camera. And... I'm sorry to say that the software is just as cost effective. Now, I've set the camera up. You can see my cat there in the distance. And what we can do is just running our thumb. I can see the nice firmware up there. We won't go for that. But we can just run our thumb over the screen. And if I scroll my thumb upwards, we can go down. And if I move my thumb along from the right hand side to the left, I can then rotate this camera so it is touch sensitive. If I pinch, the screen, I can zoom in on my cat there in the garden. And again, I'm not going to lie, I've maybe left a toy there for him so he would be on today's video. Now, the picture quality at the moment is in standard definition. It's probably worth also highlighting that because I'm using the screen recording software here, we're probably going to see a slight dip in performance when it comes to you guys watching back this video. If I switch up to HD, we can get a better video quality there, but that doesn't help with the light. Now, if we move along, you can definitely see a difference in recording there. If we look at the cat there in the light, and it is making things a little bit difficult to see there, we'll switch back to standard definition. We can also go to smooth definition. And smooth definition will, you know, heighten the frames per second, but you do see a degradation overall there. And of course, this is using a digital zoom, not an optical zoom. So that's why when we zoom out, things seem a little better. If we go back to standard definition there. Now... Don't worry too much about the haze on camera. This is staring through a window. It should also be highlighted that this is an indoor-only camera. And what we'll do now is we're going to test the audio notification here. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on my cat and see if it's possible for him to hear the audio out from this camera. So if we move the camera along. Run! We don't think we we can definitely hear if we turn that volume up or move the phone closer to the mic. Run! And it's apparently not loud enough for him to hear it. But at least you all know my cat's name. Now, the microphone that this camera does arrive with, it does have audio out, but it's not the loudest. And again, we are still talking about a budget camera. It still has to be said. Now, get rid of some of those options there. There are lots of things we can do. If we zoom out again, or we move the camera across. I do like the fact that this is a touch sensitive screen here. There's no arrows to have to muck around with. And there is quite a good degree of pan tilt zoom here available to us. We zoom back down there. We can also create scheduled recording patterns if we so choose, as well as scheduled snapshots. And we can configure a number of different settings on the individual camera. You can utilize some of the cloud space offerings that Anco have got, 30 days free trial. And you can change all information about this camera, as well as setting different alarms and notifications with regards to motion and more. And again, 
not I, I, it seems like I'm being very negative about this camera I'm really not it's just the fact that you are getting what you pay for here there are some great Ancare cameras available but you will have to spend close to £100 and of course you can change things to the smart tracking mode so what we're going to do now is I'm going to set the camera up in a way and then I'm going to walk in front of that camera and we're going to bench test that tracking application so again we may need to enable a number of different features but I'm going to walk out there and I'm going to go into those notifications there I'm now going to set some of the alerts we're going to enable motion detection an alarm may well go off during the course of this video I apologize in advance we've set up motion detection it's going to be active right now next we're going to go into the um, motion detection options here we're going to say smart tracking enabled and there's indicator lights and other options that we can do on the camera itself that we can enable different things there in the background we've got all kinds of stuff about different stamps and stuff that we want on that start on the recordings but now we're going to leave that there and we're going to see if the camera tracks me in any meaningful way so I'm going to be off mic now and I'm going to walk outside and see if my interaction with the cat can be tracked in any way. And straight away, for me at least, I could see that that camera was tracking my motions. I'm going to have to check in the post-edit how exactly that came across. But overall, I'm quite happy with that as a function, that smart tracking. And at the moment, it's still trying to find me in the local area. But what we're going to do is we're just going to disable that now while it goes absolutely bananas. Because right now, it's trying to track me and the movement of leaves and bushes has definitely thrown that off. And once again... That's one of those main differences between budget cameras and more expensive cameras. How it interacts with motion, leaves, light, edges, that kind of stuff. But I'm still quite pleased with this camera for the price limit that it's out there, about 30 odd quid. And I am looking forward to testing out some of their other devices to see if this is something that, because it's a more economy model, we are getting a more of a, an economy experience. It's still a great camera. And if you are looking... For a budget camera, maybe as a baby, mon baby monitor or something at home, definitely this is a good camera. I'm not sure about this particular camera when it comes to home security, as I do think you will hit limits very early on. But with all these different options readily available to us, and also not loads of options, definitely home user ones, and as you can see, lots of different modes readily available that can be configured on the fly, it isn't a terrible camera, it's just for me, it's probably not the most intuitive camera right now. For me, still a solid 3.5 out of 5 though, so not the end of the world, but I do think there are better cameras out there. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing you on the next video, we're going to be looking at more and more surveillance cameras in the end of 2019. But, otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.